five years, you're not going to know the difference between the crypto houses and the banks. It is all about to convert. If you look at the real economy, the real economy makes payments. No one makes a payment for no apparent reason. They make a payment for goods and services, for the receipt of goods and services. The moment the world does those in totally separate spaces. Same goods and services one way, being a container, being an invoice, in whatever mechanism you're doing it, more and more so those are virtual goods. On the other side, you go to an antiquated, archaic portal to make a payment, and the two will never meet, never connect. And the whole point and purpose of distributed ledger technology to look after the goods and services and track the services on one side is so we can also connect it to the payment on the other. And we artificially split those two in 2015, back in 2017, 2018, when we watched Ethereum kick off the ICO bubble, we ported that token functionality and account functionality out of Ethereum into Corda specifically. So we can now make two worlds converge. What you're watching in the crypto space is lots of those institutions taking the regulatory license. They're becoming banks. They're becoming financial institutions. They're coming into the regulatory perimeter. Inside the regulatory perimeter, where the banks and the financial institutions have always existed, they are starting to take crypto seriously. Just watch 40 German banks uh, register for a crypto license. They have a whole custody. Every day goes by. Watch my feed, I'm going to a list of all those news sources that come through. They are becoming crypto houses. So, the last words of Animal Farm always are the most useful ones. The preachers looked from pig to man and man to pig, and they could not see the difference. In the next five years, you're not going to know the difference between the crypto houses and the banks. It is all about 